All right guys, listen up. So I've been talking about giving away this truck for the last couple days. Now here's the deal. The giveaway for this truck ends tomorrow. So if you wanna get in on winning this beautiful Duramax, you better pop in now. Every three bucks you spend on the website is one entry. Truck will be shipped right to your door, completely free of charge. Man oh man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. If you want everyone to get out of your way on the streets, Drive something like this. People get a little bit scared when they see this thing coming down the road. Hit that first link down in the description box below and you can get entered to win the old girl. Alrighty, my friends, today is the day we are going to completely rebuild and repair our transmission for the Evo 10 and we should be able to get it back in the car today as well. So we have a few goodies for this transmission. First up is this kit. This is a Shep Trans Center Differential Pin Kit. So it comes with all four new pins, which we need. All of ours are severely scored up. And then these guys right here are very important as well. These are what actually keeps the pins in place. Little roll pins. So we have that kit. And then I decided to upgrade the, um, drawing a mind blank here, final drive. So up first, we have this big old gear. This is what bolts onto the center diff. And then we have another gear as well. Now the factory Evo 10 final drive I believe is a 468. Correct. Factory Evo 10 final drive is a 468. Now I decided to go with a 430. What this is going to do is lengthen out piston. No, no chewing on my shoes. This is going to lengthen out all of the gears, not just a single gear, not just two gears. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Every gear, heck, even reverse. It's going to be lengthened out. Stock Evo 10 final drive at 7,500 RPM. Let's say fourth gear, for example, you're at 112 miles per hour. And then with this, it goes to 123. So we are adding at 7,500 RPM, 11 miles per hour. That's gonna be a massive, massive change. Other than the stock diff pins backing out of the Evo 10 transmissions, they're a pretty robust and stout transmission from the factory. This isn't really a strength upgrade. This is more so just like a change in speed throughout all the gears, I guess is a good way to look at it. This is the exact setup we run in Bobby's Evo 10. Same center diff kit, same final drive. That car is much more enjoyable to drive because stock Evo 10s, man, they just have such short gear ratios. So let's go ahead and pull off our factory gear. This is the one that's gonna be replaced with this guy here. And that should give us better access to get these pins replaced as well. So I believe that's a 19 millimeter. So I got the factory gear off. You can clearly see the difference in teeth. Those things are three times as thick as the factory teeth. But before we get the new gear on, we need to go ahead and get these pins sorted out. So I think the easiest way is going to be to go ahead and split this case right here. There is a company that actually takes your factory gears. I just found this out and they're overseas. Otherwise I would do it. But they take the factory gears out of the diff machine amount and put in a roller bearing, a little needle bearing. That's probably the best option for something like this. I'm betting these Phillips are gonna be somewhat tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with my impact driver and pop them loose that way. Mm. Probably not very tight. Yeah, those pop loose pretty easily. All right, look at that. She is apart. And just to be sure it goes back together the same exact way, I'm gonna put a little mark on it. This right here should be able to slide freely, but it's a little bit chewed up on the shaft right here. I should be able to repair that. So I got the factory pins out in the little washers. Now these roll pins or the retainer pins is actually what keeps the diff pins in place. As you can see, all four of mine sheared off completely. So we need to go ahead, grab a, a little punch and pop those out. You know one of those moments where you're proud that you were patient? Yesterday I was going to just weld in the old pins to the diff. Now check this out. This is the gear that is supposed to spin freely on this pin. This is a new pin. It doesn't even go through. We could probably pound it through and it'd be stuck and this transmission would have lasted two minutes. If we take an old pin, Still same thing, look at that. 
Look at that. I'm very, very happy that I was patient and I waited for this new pin kit to come in. So what we need to do is figure out a way that I can polish the inside of this thing. Some sort of sanding drum. I've looked around here, I don't have anything here. But we need to be able to get these gears to spin freely on these pins. Otherwise, this thing is not gonna last at all. I'm gonna run to the good old trusty Harbor Freight and see if I can't find myself some sort of drum that fits kind of tightly down in here inside the gear, inside the in, inside of this gear to get that thing polished out. And then we can reassemble. All right, so I picked up these little rolls of sandpaper. It's, uh, I think, 180 grit. And I'm taking off all of the metal that transferred from the pins onto these gears. Now there's quite a bit, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm getting all that off, and then I decided to go through and hit it with this little Scotch-Brite wheel to kind of polish it out, get any of the high spots off from this sandpaper. At the end of the day, it should spin nice and smooth, nice and free like it should from the factory. All right, here's a new pin and gear number one. Look at that, brand new, not loose, not tight. Gear two, three, keep in mind this is without any sort of lube. Gear four, look at that. A little bit of polishing action. Our gears are refurbished and good to go. There's the inside. That's how the inside looks, if you guys can see that. The last thing we need to fix before our center differential goes back together is this guy here, these splines. Now, I don't know if in driving use, this gear slides past that point, but just to be sure, I'm gonna grab this little file, pull off the high spots, the little nicks inside of the splines, get that thing cleaned up, and this whole diff can go back together. <laughs> Here are all of the parts and pieces for the new diff. New gear, new pin kit, everything else OEM. So the first thing we need to do is get all of these gears reinstalled with the new pins. Now on this guy, you see that machined in groove? That is going to face up toward the threads, toward the gear. Got a little bit of gear oil right here. Let's make sure everything gets lubed up nicely as it's going together. So I got the gears in, pins are not pushed all the way through because before we put the pins all the way through, they do have to go into this internal collar. From here, we need to go ahead and insert these pins. Now they're gonna be installed from this inside here. Of course, you gotta make sure everything's lined up. All right, we are ready for that top plate and the gear. Now I'm gonna throw a little bit of Loctite on the threads just to make sure nothing backs out. As you can see, the diff is all back apart. I got it complete, got everything buttoned up, Loctite it in the bolts for the gear, tried to spin it and nothing would spin. It was all locked up. So I pulled it completely apart in this shaft right here this guy 
that goes through that hole there. This thing was all butchered up as well. So I went through, tried to polish that up as best as I could. Now I'm gonna slowly but surely reassemble this thing and hopefully this time around, it actually spins like it should. I've had this thing apart and back together probably three or four times now. This is how it should feel. Not like loose and floppy, but not so tight it wouldn't spin. That is very, very proper. So now you need to go ahead and finish installing. That goes there. That goes there. Let me get those two screws in and it should still spin the same. If it doesn't spin the same, we have an issue and we have an issue. We have an issue because it won't spin at all. What the heck? If I knew it was going to be this big of a hassle, I would have 100% ordered a wave track LSD. So without this top plate, it spins fine. All right. That's our problem. This is like a little spacer washer type ordeal. And very clearly it's got some boogering on it. So I'm betting if we clean this up, It'll spin fine. So I got it all deburred. Let's slap on some gear oil, get this plate back on, and see how that goes. Finally, 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 we have a complete center diff that spins like it should. But wait, we're not done yet. So now that we have the new final drive gear on the center diff, we also need this. This is a complete shaft that replaces this shaft. So all of these gears and sliders and synchros and everything off of this shaft needs to now be transferred onto this shaft. And then we can assemble the transmission. So at first there's a snap ring on the very top of it. That guy needs to be removed. So the first thing that we're going to press off is this with these two gears right here. We cannot press off the entire set together because there's another snap ring right there. Unless I can just pull that snap ring now, get it up and out of the way, then we should be able to press off everything together. All right, so that snap ring is up and out of the way now. So we should be able to just press off the whole entire stack together. This press isn't usually all that tight. So if it takes a ton of force, you probably have a circlip still installed somewhere. All right, there she is. Now I'm simply just gonna leave that stack there, push this new shaft up through while everything's still lined up and press it all on. So going back together, I think I'll probably have to do it in two separate presses. Round one is done. Now the circlip goes on. Now we're onto the bearings. So I need to get this bearing off of the old shaft. Easiest way is going to be to heat it up and then tap on the inner race with a punch. If we get it warm enough, it should slide off. If you're gonna do it this way, make sure you're tapping on the inner race, not the outer part of the bearing. Now while this bearing is still warm, 
it should just drop right on. Maybe with a little bit of a left tap, pop onto the new shaft. And remember on the top side, we have the circlip, so don't forget that. So this shaft is complete and ready to go back in the transmission. Our center diff is complete, ready to go back in. That is all the mods that we're gonna do to this transmission. If that freaking center diff didn't take five hours is what I spent on that dang thing, just cause I had to go together and back apart so many times, I would 100% get this transmission back in the car. But for now, let's just focus on getting it reassembled, make sure everything spins properly, make sure she goes through the gears, and then we can worry about getting it back in the car. Alrighty guys, let's start tossing this thing back together. I got a billion photos on my phone, if you guys remember back, so I know how everything goes. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Enjoy the time lapse. So I got everything installed. This is how it all sits. Pin in there, pin in there. Now before we move forward and apply the sealant, I'm gonna go ahead and slap that case on, install the shift selector, and make sure everything shifts properly, make sure everything spins properly. It is always a pain in the butt. If you apply the sealant, don't do your testing first and have to pull it back apart to fix something. Everything should be right, but it's always a good idea to make sure. All right, here she is. So, that's neutral. Should spin without the output spinning. We're good to go. <sighs> that would be first, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. I mean, I guess you can't really get much better than that. So I think, I think we're good to pull the case back off. I gotta pull this back off, all these guys back off. Now, when you're doing your testing, make sure you install these, all these guys with the balls on the end. One more light mod I'm going to do is safety wire that roll pin there and that roll pin there. Bam, bam. Let's get this thing cleaned up, sealed. I'll be using the good old three bond 1217H, pretty much what I use on everything. Get that case on and we have a transmission. Microfiber, good shot of brake cleaner. Last thing we want is our brand new transmission to be leaking oil. That would be a no-no. I'm so excited to drive this thing again especially with this new final drive. If you're not applying your RTV with something like this, you should. It makes it so much easier. Nice, consistent, even bead around the whole outer perimeter. All right, let's toss a little bit of gear oil up in here. Of course, make sure to not get any on your gasket surface, because that'd be a bad day. Kind of just let it drain down the stacks. Lather up them, them bearings. The nice thing about this three bond that I use, you don't need to give it that 30 minute or 45 minute wait time like you do with most sealants. Instructions say to apply 
a thin bead, and assemble. Well, I certainly overestimated what I could get done in one single day. I thought I was gonna get this whole car back together today. Little did I know I'd spend five hours on the center diff alone, but hey, the transmission's back together. Everything works as it should. And tomorrow we can definitely get it back in the car and go on a drive, make sure everything works like it should and test out that new final drive ratio. Both parts, the diff pin kit, and the final drive, I'll go ahead and link down in the description box below if you want to do those mods to your transmission for your Evo 10. Hope you all enjoyed. Piston, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this little boy. I swear every day he gets a little bit of slobber on the lens and I kind of forget and then it's just slobbery the whole video. It's okay though, right? You want to see a trick? Down. Good boy. Look at that. Good boy. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we get the transmission back in the car and go for a rip.